Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out C's by Fumbly Bumbly. First chamber, easy difficulty. Second chamber, medium difficulty. Main elements are piston platforms, face plates, and a light bridge. No portals are required to solve either puzzle. No standing on recording shoulders is required to solve either puzzle. Second chamber has a mechanic that can be a bit finicky. It often works fine, though. Please report any experts in such in the comments. Your feedback is appreciated. And as you've noticed by the title of this video, we are playing in Thinking with Time Machine. Look at this. Look at this. It's been a long time. People don't often make maps for this mod. And holy crap. Hang on. I'm not used to playing at 60 FPS. <laughs> there we go, much better. Hmm. So that button does something up there. Obviously we'll want to record ourselves staying on this button, right? And then we'll probably want to press that button, so... Let's start recording. Uh, it's been a while since I've played. And then, let's see here. After that... Press the button... Sure, why not? I'll press it multiple times. <laughs> Let's stop recording, and let's play. Hello, past me. No portals required, so we won't even- we won't even bother shooting portals. Although we could, if we wanted to. What does this do for us? Ooh, I might have done things slightly wrong. Hmm, that's interesting. So I guess what I actually want to do is record pressing this button and this button and then standing on that and then getting off of it and then I can use the recording multiple times maybe? But this also does this, right? Yeah, that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? So I think I have to have a way for me to get back down? Huh. It's always weird to look down and see your feet in Portal. I I'm not used to that. <laughs> I, n I kind of forgot that you could do that in this mod. Anyway. Yeah, I gotta figure something out like that. How long does these buttons last? So this one is short, right? This one's short. Oops, that's, uh... Nope. That's not what I meant to do. Whatever. That one's short. The thing is, you can't play recording and then also record a new one at the same time. Why doesn't this one make a ticking sound? It's got... I guess because there's no signage on that? And then how long is this... how long is this one? I think they're about the same length, actually. Hmm. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. So we would want to record this somehow, but there's no way to, like, in order to get out of here... Hmm... And I have to be standing up- I have to be standing here when the recording plays, is the thing. Interesting. I think I might be forgetting some fundamentals of this mod. It's been a long time since I've played. As far as I'm aware, you can't record while a recording is playing, right? Yeah, it cancels the recording as soon as you start recording. Hmm. If I record... I think I know what to do. If I record immediately pressing this button... ...and then have... 
the clone, then go down here and do this stuff. Then as soon as it presses that button, I can start the recording over, which presses that button. I think that should work. Yes, I think that should work, so let's do that. So let's see here. So we wait for this. We walk down here. Press this button. And then this part is just so we can get up. Alright, stop the recording. Alright, so now we do this. that to complete. There's no fast forward like in Talos, and I don't have keybinds for speeding the game up, so whatever. But that's fine. Alright, there we go. Alright, so... Now, let's see if this works as intended. Play. <laughs> you can see me walking into the wall. <laughs> Didn't actually know that I would record the fact that I was walking like that. There we go, perfect. That's exactly what we needed to do. Right, now this one's gonna be harder, supposedly. Hmm. What the? Oh right, cause yeah, yeah. Cause that recording's still playing, of course. My goodness, this does look quite a bit more complicated, doesn't it? So we need a cube up here. That's basically all we need to get out of here. Exit condition is just having a cube up here. That looks like a return path, probably. What does this do? That's how we get... down... ooh... Hmm... So we have to do this first of all. It doesn't go all the way down, interestingly enough. Right. There's a faceplate under the light bridge that we can't use because the light bridge is blocking us. Man, this thing- this thing freaks out when we step on and off the light bridge. Look at that. You can actually see my hand from right there. <laughs> what do we have in here? Just a button. That we cannot put a cube on. Although... Oh, thanks for this. Microsoft Windows 10 Fall Creators update. Uh, although, I'm pretty sure that we could get a cube in here... ...by recording... ...putting a portal in here, and then we put the other portal outside. I'm pretty sure we could get a cube in there, although I don't think it's intended. Hmm. So these face plates can't be used right now, etc. This platform doesn't go all the way down, but that face plate launches us... There, interestingly enough. Hmm. Alright, enough of this. How do we get up there? I guess we have to record this because we can't use the face place while the light bridge is on. Alright. Here goes nothing. I think that's long enough. We can always start over the recording if need be. Alright, so that would launch us up on top of it. This gets us up here. Okay. Another ant line that goes quite a distance. Alright, so that button does two things. Maybe it turns off the fizzler up there? I don't know. That lowers all the way to the ground. What's this for? Just decorative? Interesting. There's some over here as well. Yeah, there's no gel on this map, so I guess it's just decorative. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm guessing the cube is up there somewhere? Perhaps? That would be my guess. There's also- I'm guessing also the return path is up there. I don't know what this other ant line goes to, but we'll find out in a moment. So I'm gonna record standing on this. And then stop recording. 
And of course the clone might also have to like, go down here at some point, but we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. First things first, I wanna see what's up here. Ooh, I heard a cube respawn this time. Oh, so it respawns the cube each time. Right. Okay then. to get the cube out of here, though, that's gonna be... interesting. How do we get the cube out of here? I'm pretty sure the recording glitch doesn't work. Anymore. I'm pretty sure they patched it where the recording could carry objects through fizzlers. Hmm. Maybe I just need to play the recording and then quickly grab the cube? As long as I keep starting the recording, it should keep the butt for it. Yeah, so that lets us get the cube out of here at the very least. Then I'm assuming we never need to go up there again, right? Oh no, we do need to go up there again because. Oh no. But we need to get the cube out of there. We need to get the cube somewhere else. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to record the. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what the finicky bit is. I think the cube was supposed to land on the platform. Ooh, okay, so. Let's designate this exact spot as the location where the cube gets picked up from. Because that's how things are gonna be. So let's record. So this is us letting ourselves up. Then we go up there. And then I do this again. That allows us to get the cube once it gets finished being built. We can drop back down, put the cube into position, and then we'll have to go back up again. Right. So then we walk over here as the clone. The clone presses E there. And the clone... Walks down here. And I hope this works. Clone presses E there. And then... We wait to give me some time to get over there, just in case. And then we go step on this. And that should work, ideally. Alright, stop recording. So now to get back up, we have to let the whole recording play. <laughs> but it should work. Because, yeah, we need the recording to come down here and step on the button to get us to launch off of the space plate. So I think that was what the previous area was tutorializing, was that we had to make a recording that included the ability for us to get up there in the first place and then play the recording again. So we had to use the same recording for multiple purposes, or restart the recording or whatever. I like that, Family Bumbly. That's clever. There's the clone gonna grab the cube. Now come on down here. There you go. Yep, I'm in position. Go ahead. There we are. Right, so. Start over, please. Now we wait for this to fizzle and get recreated. There we go. Put the cube in position. I go back up. And I need to walk all the way over here. Through the return path. 
I hope this is right. Cause if not, we're gonna have some issues. Step on this. Okay, can I see what's going on? Okay, that's in position. Oh. No, I think I did it wrong. Crap. Um. Well, I don't have to redo everything, so... Wait, do I have- do I have tap bind- bound? I don't. Alright. Let's get back into position. Um... Uh, yeah, we'll do it. We'll- we'll start from here. There we go. Let's try again. I should have just waited patiently, it would have worked. But yeah, I fizzled the cube by crushing it, I think. Pick up the imaginary cube. So we know the cube pickup worked, because it did- I did see it on the faceplate, it did put it into position. So we, now we just have to hope that the physics are on our side. cube in position. Now we go back up, and this time I will wait on the button, instead of trying to see what's going on. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got impatient. Yep, everything is going according to plan. Oh, I forgot I could see the clone's perspective on the screen here. I completely forgot about that. Did it work? Hey! It worked! Amazing! <laughs> wow, okay, yeah, I should have really just waited the first time. Right. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!